Hey everyone, Tamara here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you guys doing today? As for me, I'm doing well. And before we get into the topic of today, talking about my experience with yoga so far, I just want to notify you guys that I have started a new YouTube channel in collaboration with my Kang. And we're going to be teaching about Klepothic initiation and Sephirothic initiation, which has to do with Kabbalah. So we are basically combining our shared knowledge and experiences and putting it all into one YouTube channel where we can help you guys to reach your highest potential as you can see us evolving to our highest potential so we will be posting in real time documentation of our initiatory experiences so that you guys can learn take notes and use it to benefit your own life so for those of you that don't know what kabbalah is i have started making some youtube videos on my channel breaking down some of the spears within the tree of life. I've done Malkuth and Yosod so far. And within the next coming week, I'm going to be breaking down the spear of Hod, which has to, or Hod, which has to do with Mercury energy. Okay, so our channel name, our YouTube channel name is the Throne of Hecate or Throne of Hecate. One of those two. Yeah. Throne of Hecate. And as I said, we will be sharing information about initiating in Kabbalah, the Sephiroth, the Klippoth, and also other general information such as relationship advice, etc. All right. So if you guys are interested in that, please do check out our combined YouTube channel and the king or my king that I'm working with, his YouTube channel is Occult Cat TV. So he deals more with the Klippothic side of the tree of of death so on his channel he teaches about demons and uh basically how to work with these darker forces in order to evolve yourself all right so there you have it so now let's get into the topic for today i want to share with you guys my experiences with doing yoga so far all right, so I started doing yoga at the beginning of this year. And when I say yoga, I'm talking about physical yoga. So there are different types of yoga, especially within the Eastern traditions. You have things like Raja Yoga, which deals with strengthening your mind. You have Bhakti Yoga, which deals with devotional practices. You have um, Hatha Yoga, which deals with doing different asana poses, different asanas. And then what I'm doing is I'm doing Kundalini yoga, which obviously deals with um, Kundalini energy. And what I can say is that it is challenging. But what I love about it is that it really destroys your ego. So it pushes you to your limits. So the lady that I do yoga with, I just do it through her YouTube channel. Her name is Brett Larkin. You can find her on YouTube and she is incredible. She teaches all types of yoga. So on her channel, you will find yin yoga, vinyasa flow yoga, hatha yoga, kundalini yoga. I mean, she's very she's a certified yoga teacher and she really, really gives some amazing uh, yoga poses for you guys to do that even target different areas of your body. Like, for example, your hips or your back or your arms, you know, she, she has everything, a wide variety of videos. So I recommend you check her out. So I started doing yoga to her videos at the beginning of this year. So I've been doing it only for six months. Yeah, I know it's not long, but I've, I'm already experiencing so many benefits in my day-to-day -day life just from starting a yoga practice. So I want to give you guys some of these benefits that I've been experiencing so number one is that because kundalini yoga is so challenging and it pushes your limits it gets you to push your limits in other areas of your life so with brett larkin she makes you do these 
yoga postures for minutes at a time and mind you it's so exhausting right but it gets you to strengthen your mindset knowing that you can push through this difficult yoga pose and that's why i said it 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 destroys your ego so when you go about your day-to-day -day life you're going to be putting 100 percent of your energy into those other areas of your life so for example you'll be more attentive in your relationships or in your business so the second benefit i found um, with also starting a yoga practice is i feel more aware my awareness has increased and my attentiveness to everyday life so i feel like i'm more attentive now to wanting to make more youtube videos for you guys and put my all into a delivering quality content instead of quantity and you know just being more receptive to uh, my surroundings you know i'm noticing more synchronicities as well way more synchronicities so hence why i'm saying my awareness i feel like it's increased dramatically ever since starting yoga another benefit i've noticed is that i am eating so so much better so i've been a vegetarian since about 2020 and i've already been eating healthy but when i started doing yoga this year i'm eating even more healthy like i crave to just eat fruits and vegetables i eat fruit every day i eat vegetables every day so really i find that i no longer want to eat things like potato crisps and chocolate and just like a lot of sugary based foods even with my morning coffee i used to put in about two and a half teaspoons of sugar into my coffee and now i found it's reduced to having just one teaspoon of uh sugar within my coffee so that already shows you how much of a difference uh yoga has helped me to pay attention to my diet and what i'm eating and of course yoga also has physical benefits so my body is more toned when i look in the mirror you know i'm seeing muscle a little bit of muscle not too much <laughs> yeah seeing more definition in to my physical body so yeah those are basically all the benefits that i've noticed so far so i'm going to repeat them again so yoga has helped me to develop more awareness in my everyday life so i'm noticing more synchronicities it helps you to destroy your ego so it's like it pushes you to your limits so that you're able to now be more attentive and productive in other areas of your life it helps you to eat better well it's helped me to eat better because i'm now craving more natural foods and what was the other thing i mentioned it's it's uh, physically improved my body as well as I've, i'm noticing my body is more toned so yeah that is the power of yoga and of course spiritually speaking you know you will be more connected you may have more dreams at night get more um divine messages listen more to your intuition so yoga is overall super beneficial in your spiritual development and if you guys want to learn about kundalini i recommend you get this book here It is by Kimberly Moon and she breaks down Kundalini in uh, energy, chakras, meditation, clairvoyance, astral travel. So if you guys are new to Kundalini and you want to learn about uh, Kundalini yoga, this book over here should be your, your go-to. Okay, so that is my video for you guys today. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Take care and bye.